All caution see the real reflection of you. This earlier this week, I was up in Maine and I was hanging out with my karate teacher. I was helping him out with some stuff as he was like with his business and stuff. Um, just providing an extra set of hands. And the interesting thing was about even 12 hours before we ended up leaving to Maine, I had no idea that I was going to be um, helping him on, on this trip. Right just before the, uh, that Sunday night before, we had karate class and it was late at night. And he just casually asked, he's like, hey, does anybody have some time this week to, like, to help me out with some stuff? And I was, like, thinking in that moment, I'm like, hmm, what does my week look like? I don't really know, blah, blah, blah. And before I knew it, I was like, you know what, fuck it. Like, yeah, why not? Why not take this opportunity to, A, learn a little bit about this guy's business, but B, it's like live little, you know? To just use the opportunity of... of having an open schedule and crafting my own schedule like I do and, and really using it, taking advantage of it. So raised my hand, contacted him and he's like, all right, cool. So Monday we end up going like Monday, late, late morning, early afternoon and then meeting up with him and we start loading, we, we go to his office, we start loading up the, uh, like I said, he's a microscopist. So start loading up the, the microscope that we're bringing, just some of the parts and stuff. And we're off before we know it. So, like, a day before, here I am thinking, I'm like, all right, the next week. I wasn't even thinking what the next week was going to be like, to be candid. I was like, what's going to happen in the next moment, right? It's one thing I've been looking at more and more is living for the moment right now versus what's going to happen in two days or what's going to happen in a week. Like, doing as much as I possibly can to live for this moment right now versus planning for anything beyond in the future because I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to live tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. And so, what's the point of this whole story? Why am I telling all this? Well, I ended up spending about four days in, in Maine at a, a mineral and gem museum or slash lab, ended up learning a lot about different minerals, rocks, everything from some of the rocks that they, uh, some of the minerals that they dig up locally, difference between minerals and rocks, minerals are a specific, um, they have a specific chemical composition, and Typically, like, they're a uniform, specific chemical composition. In other words, it's like a homogenous chemical composition. And so you'll often see this, anything from, like, some of the crystals that you might see to all, all sorts of different things. Versus rocks are heterogeneous mixtures of a bunch of different minerals. So it's multiple mineral compositions that compose a rock versus a single chemical composition composed of the mineral that's one thing i learned alongside some of the different minerals and stuff that are found in in maine um but more than anything what i learned was well a obviously about microscopy and um what is a scanning electron microscope how does it work to the uses of it to driving quite a bit and and observing and hanging out with my karate teacher just learning about 80s bands 80s rock bands and a bunch of different music a bunch of different culture that I had missed or that I'd kind of been aware of but I just I hadn't really listened to all that to say more than anything, what I learned was what is it like to flow with the unknown and what is it like to flow with the moment? I had an absolute blast this past week. And 
like I said, even less than 24 hours in advance, I had no idea of where life would take me. More and more, I'm seeing the opportunities arise in my life and come about in ways that I could never have expected. And I find that happens more and more when I'm in this moment right now. Keep up, thrive, stay sexy.